In today's video, we're gonna be checking out the Paul Reed Smith SE Hollow Body 2 Piezo Guitar. So now, PRS has three of these models. They have the standard, which is the hollow body SE standard, that will have a mahogany top and back. That's the guitar I reviewed uh, late last year. It has uh, some of the features the other two have, but it's more scaled down. The next one is the hollow body two. That has the maple laminate top and back. In other words, it has a, a laminate piece of maple, flame maple on the top and back. It has upgraded plastic binding. So then you get to this one, which is the PRS SE hollow body 2 piezo which has flame maple binding on the headstock and the neck flame maple binding on the uh, the body and the F holes and of course the piezo system which is the biggest upgrade on the guitar all three do come with a hard shell case it's made by court tech which is the company that uh, PRS is now using to build all the SEs this one is made in China like the other two hollow bodies all of the hollow bodies are made in China all of the solid bodies are made in Indonesia all of the SEs are made by Cortec. Now, when I did the review of the last one, which was the standard, it also had uh, 5815S pickups. And in this guitar, I really like those pickups just like I liked it in the standard. I think the hollow body and this, those pickups are a good matchup. I think they sound really good. Uh, I think they sound really good with this, uh, the piezo system. I think that's a good blend. Um, this guitar really sings. <laughs> You have a volume and a tone control for your magnetics and a volume for your piezo system. Now, something that's interesting that's different on this guitar than the core is that the core has a switch to turn the piezo on and off. And this one, you have to use the volume off to do that. So you use it like a blending system. One of the things I wanna show you is, let's blend in. That's the acoustic. Now I'm gonna run the volume on the uh, electric, the magnetics on the, on the neck. You plug into the first connection and you can plug in and you will get a blend of your magnetic and uh, and acoustic transduce, transducer sound. Sorry, I'm tongue tied. <laughs> so, um, so basically if you plug in here, you mix in how much, you know, so if you don't want electric, you turn it off. If you don't want acoustic, you turn it off. However, there's a dedicated magnetics or pickups out, which is the humbuckers out. And that will allow you to send your electric pickups to your electric amp and your acoustic pickup to your acoustic amp and you can run them separate or run them into an AB box. I saw a lot of people were saying, hey, I wish it had coil splits. These are coil splittable pickups. In other words, the 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 ability is there. If you want to hook it up to a push-pull, you could do that and create a coil split on this. Keep in mind, the core doesn't have it either. So I'm sure that's why PRS left it out. It's not in the core. It doesn't need to be in the SE. It would be probably the logic, but again, I don't know. This thing is beautiful because it has this maple binding on the fretboard, on the headstock, and on the F holes, and of course, on the top and the back of the sides of the guitar. The flame maple binding is gorgeous. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Everything I see on this one looks really great. The bow nut is a really nice touch. Now, the other two hollow body SEs have it as well, and that's what I, th I found impressive with the uh, hollow body standard. All three have bone nuts. I think that's a really nice, uh, nice touch, especially since it is carved beautifully. I don't know if they're doing that or if these are being sent from Maryland or if they're done on a third party, but the craftsmanship and the workmanship on this is is legit. It's it's nothing to complain about. So tuning keys, same complaint I have on all SEs. They now make an aftermarket locking key. I wish they would just make that standard. Regardless of my preference, I think for the price point, I think it re I think it actually demands locking keys. It has the ebony veneer on the headstock and ebony fretboard, which are beautifully done. Again, this guitar is everything. The first one I reviewed is, but 
better. This one has abalone inlays, where the other one had mother of pearl. The abalone looks gorgeous. <laughs> on this one is perfect however as I always disclose uh, this one was sent to me by Paul Reed Smith so I'm assuming it might have got some extra treatment because it's coming to a review channel I don't know but what I can tell you is is that it, this one is perfect so if you get one I hope that yours is perfect as well because obviously we know it can be done because it's done on this one literally perfect frets perfect uh, no no high frets no issues polished really well the ends are polished okay uh, in other words they're rounded off there was no fret shrinkage this guitar has been in my home now for three months it is a true hollow body it does have a uh, brace underneath here it's a piece of wood right here under the bridge and then of course it looks like some kind of bracing across probably what the pickups are mounted to <laughs> I would love to tell you what I think of it compared to the first one I got, uh, but unfortunately, you know, those, those, that guitar went back, so I have to do off memory. Off memory, they both claim to have the wide, fat neck. This one, for some reason, feels a little chunkier. <laughs> I think what we're seeing is, is a company changing some of its mindset. And what I mean by that is, we've seen a lot of companies in the past, whether it be Fender and Squire, or Gibson and Epiphone, or ESP, LTD, we've seen a lot of companies make affordable versions of their more expensive guitars. But over time, especially companies like Gibson and Epiphone, have figured out that the sub-brand, or I hate to call it that, but let's just say the lower-priced brand, becomes an actual equitable brand. In other words, people value it. And I think what you have is you have a following of PRS followers that like SE now. And I see it all the time. A lot of you viewers, it's not that you're not buying the American PRSs because of the price, although that's a factor for some, but not everyone. Some people just say, hey, you know what? For the price of one core Paul Reed Smith, I can get three SEs. And I don't think anything is going to illustrate this better than what I'm about to do. I went on Sweet Water.com and I pulled up some guitars and what you're looking at is a Paul Reed Smith hollow body 2 core non tin top for $4,900 for the same price of this guitar you can buy the semi hollow Zach Myers which is like the SE 245 but semi hollow with a gig bag the Paul Reed Smith Angelus acoustic which is one of their more premium acoustics in the series not the most expensive but definitely up on the higher end at 750 with a case you could get the PRS SE Hollow Body 2 that I'm reviewing in this video with a case. Paul's guitar, which I've also done a review of, that's a $1,000 SE that has his pickups and switching system in it with a gig bag, and a custom 24 that has a custom finish on it and still have $11 left over if you bought these five guitars versus one core. Now, if some of you are a little concerned because you're like, hey, I don't want them to have expensive price points, I think that's why they've created SE Standard, but also keep in mind at some point, there's other brands to consider. If price is a factor, because it is for a lot of us, you can always just go to another brand if this company doesn't provide a product price that you, that you like. On that note, I'll let you guys go. I'm always curious to see what you guys think. Put a comment down below and let me know what you thought of the guitar. As always, I wanna thank uh, PRS for shipping this out because without them doing that, we wouldn't be able to check out these guitars. So as always, thank you to them. Thank you for you guys for hanging out. So otherwise, without you guys hanging out, they wouldn't wanna ship a guitar for us to check it out. See how it's an easy, <laughs> it's a symbiotic relationship at that point. As always, I wanna thank you guys so much for your time. Till the next time, know your gear.